Here is your latest African news. Africa wide. The South African president visits Nigeria to call for solidarity against travel bans. Nigeria, Africa's most populous country this week, confirmed its first case of the new COVID-19 variant, saying it had been found among three passengers who had traveled to South Africa. West African neighbor Ghana also said it had recorded the new Omicron variant. Cases of Omicron have been detected in numerous countries since the strain was first reported to the World Health Organization in South Africa last week, prompting border closures and travel restrictions. Speaking during a visit with Nigeria's President Muhammadu Buhari in Abuja, Ramaphosa again called on countries to lift unscientific flight bans, stating resulting damage of the travel ban to the economies of the affected countries to be considerable and long-lasting. France said Wednesday it will start allowing flights from South Africa to land on its territory from Saturday, but with drastic restrictions allowing only French and EU residents to disembark, along with diplomats and flight crews. Tanzania Tanzania cable car plan to lift tourism in Kilimanjaro Tanzania is banking on a cable car facility on Mount Kilimanjaro to unlock its potential to attract tourists who cannot climb Africa's highest mountain. The Deputy Minister for Natural Resources and Tourism, Mary Masanja, said the project is on track and would begin soon. This week, Ms. Masanja told a press conference in the capital Dodoma that cable cars would mostly be used by tourists and other climbers who cannot hike to the mountain's peak on foot. Mount Kilimanjaro, a leading tourist destination, is about 5,895 meters above sea level, with roughly 50,000 climbers from across the world attempting to reach the mountain summit annually. Uganda and Democratic Republic of Congo Congo says it has to fight a joint enemy with Uganda as soldiers cross the border. Congolese authorities on Wednesday sought to ally concerns about the arrival of Uganda troops in Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo for an ongoing joint operation against a militia linked to Islamic State. Hundreds of Ugandan soldiers have entered Congo as both countries deployed special forces to ensure bases of the Allied Democratic Forces militia that they had hit with air and artillery strikes the previous day. Government spokesperson Patrick Muyaya said the countries were cooperating against a common enemy. The ADF was accused of killing hundreds of civilians in East Congo since 2019 and carrying out a string of recent bombings in Uganda. Nigeria Lagos government disputes Lakey massacre report. Nigeria's legal state government has released a white paper on a report by a judicial panel set up to investigate police abuses and deadly violence at the Lakey toll gate last year. The white paper is the official document of the government's analysis and proposes response to the report. The government has denied that nine persons were killed at the toll gate when police stormed the protest ground to disperse the protesters. It described the findings that the nine were shot dead as assumptions and speculations. The judicial panel of inquiry submitted its report to the state government two weeks ago. A leaked version of the report indicated the Nigerian army and Lagos government in the killing of unarmed protesters and the cover-up of the October 20th 2020 incident. Lagos has said it accepted 11 out of the 32 recommendations. It accepted six others with modifications and rejected one. It said that 14 of the recommendations fell outside the power of the state and would consequently be forwarded to the federal government for consideration. South Africa Last-minute attempt to stop Shell Oil's exploration of whale breeding grounds. An 11th hour attempt has been launched to try halt plans by Shell to explore for oil in vital whale breeding grounds along the wild coast of eastern South Africa. Campaigners filed an urgent legal challenge against the seismic survey which was scheduled to begin this week in an effort to prevent it harming whales, dolphins and seals in the relatively untouched marine environment. The challenge brought by four environmental and human rights organizations was heard in court on and the judgment on whether to allow exploration to move ahead is expected to be delivered later this week. The intervention is expected to delay Shell's plan to explore for oil in the sensitive marine environment, which will include firing extremely loud shockwave immersions down through 1.8 miles of water and almost 35 miles into the seabed to create a seismic survey of the area. Opposition to the plans has grown steadily in South Africa over recent weeks due to fear that the work could damage the ecologically diverse and sensitive environment of the wild coast which runs along the Eastern Cape province. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe, share and like this video. It's the best way you can help us to reach our viewers. Also, visit our website tunacheki.tv for all the latest news updates. Also, don't forget to catch the return of our show Africa in the News on our channel.
You can directly support this new series by becoming our YouTube member or becoming a Patreon. And remember, Africa is watching.